Hey all, I have an update on the Hanel Jaeger 10 in 308, an accuracy update. I promised I was going to do that once I threw a scope on it and that sort of thing, but I did take my uh, Cabela's Borsider kit, Borsided it in the basement just by shining it from you know one side of the basement to the other just to get basics. Um, I guess I should mention the gun is empty, the bolts open, the mags on the ground. Um, so yeah, I took it out and I pref I try to do a 25 yard sight in at first. And that's that sheet right there. Uh, this was done with Federal Blue 150 grain. Uh, it was the cheapest 150 grain I could find. I think it was 20 bucks a box. 308's kind of hard to come by right now in Canada. And uh, yeah, so I sighted it in. After those, each one of those shots I did make adjustments to the scope. Uh, the scope on it is a Minox ZV-3. That's their entry level scope. I was looking at the ZA-5 and uh, I realized that I don't really shoot beyond, I've never shot anything beyond 200 yards so I don't know and it, I couldn't, I honestly couldn't tell the difference uh, in the glass between the two, two scopes. When I know the ZV-3 is made in China and the ZA series I think are assembled in the United States but it didn't really the price difference was uh, was not going to happen so especially since I pop the scope off and uh, shoot iron sights or that's that's my whole intent with with this gun so doesn't really matter don't need the best of the best there but you know what for a $200 scope it's remarkably clear uh, it does have a BDC 400 reticle in it uh, and that's been nice as well Anyway, back to uh, back to the targets. After doing that initial sight, and I bumped everything back to 100 yards. As you can see, the first shot up there blasted it way high, which is you know pretty normal. And I wanted it about two inches high at 100, because that's what you're supposed to do. It was windy that day, uh, so that's why they're a little bit to the left there. And then after that, I tried to uh, just do a compensating shot, just naturally, and I. I yanked one, but it did shoot, and I'm gonna guess I'll never be able to repeat that again with Federal Blue. But that was uh, that's just a three-shot tattered hole there, which uh, I'm gonna say that was a little little lucky. Um, I don't think I'll be able to do that again. And then on my because the mag only holds uh, three rounds on my sixth shot, I was able to put it, uh, you know, adjust from there to there just just by using the the reticle, but very happy with the accuracy. There's some bullets that I'm going to be uh, experimenting with. Uh, again, those were Federal Blue uh, 150 greens. These U UMCs, I just shot uh, I just shot them iron sight just to not really break in the barrel. I haven't tried Fusion 150 or the 165s yet and I really want to try out these uh, Hornady uh, match bullets. Um, they're 168 grain. The rifle is a 1 in 12 twist, so I don't think going much heavier would be a good idea, but I was given some 180 grain normal Vulcans. Uh, 180 is probably a little bit heavy, but we'll see how they shoot. I was given them, so free means trying. <laughs> and then there's a, I was also given some Remington green box, just uh, express soft points. and. Uh, yeah, I have some fusions loaded up in there for the next time I go out and uh, see how it shoots. Um, there is going to be load development. Powder finally came into Canada, so I snagged a few pounds of uh, IMR 4064, and I am going to be playing. Uh, this was kind of a barn find a couple weeks ago, but I found some 3, uh, 308 shells. The ones on top of the bag aren't. Those are the Federal Blues. Um, found these needed cleaning up. It came in a box. There was 303s, 30-06s, 243s, 270s, and 308s all mixed in a huge ass box and there's mouse crap in there as well. But I've been taking them and restoring them. All the primers are punched out on them and they're these ones are all pretty much good to go. They're just separated. These are Dominion. Um, that's an old company that doesn't exist anymore either and then the ones in the back are military uh, the military ones had crimped primers so uh, I've never reloaded military brass so I, I'm separating them for now and then there's my little crappy tumbler there that's a million years old 
So yeah, overall accuracy is very good. I am going to say because that day was windy and that sort of thing, that, that three-shot group there is a total fluke because um, I've never seen Federal Blue shoot like that before. But uh, overall very good. And the uh, Cabela's bore sighter for being cheap and crappy at 25 yards. My first shot's right there. Well within reason on the paper and yeah, overall very happy. My apologies if the camera was shaky. Uh, feel free to ask any questions and as I uh, try and develop some loads for this, I'll, uh, I'll post them just, just for your information. Thanks for watching.